Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Check Me. I know it's been a while, but I'm happy to be back to talk uh, uh, talk sports. It's in the we're in the midst of football season. We're coming towards the end of football season. There's so much going on. Um, first, I got to start with my Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I just want to say to everyone, like, stop listening to Micah Parsons. Um, stop listening to these these guys spitting out these uh, these these this nonsense, as as I might say. Jalen Hurts is so valuable to this team, and and we saw it. You we saw it in in the first the game against the um, who was it? Uh, who do we play? We saw it against games again game against the Cowboys, and we saw it definitely against the game against the Saints. And where even though we put up a lot of points uh, against the Cowboys, um, and it made Gardner Minshew look like he's a, a quarterback that can start this league. There's a reason why he's a backup because and he's not starting this league, and it's not because he got he got blackballed. It's because he he makes some he makes some poor decisions, and he's not necessarily a game changer or a game winner when it comes to um, more or less. Not, I didn't even say a game manager when it comes to uh, being able to help a team win games. I thought the Cowboys game was winnable. I thought the Saints game was winnable as well too. Uh, but what we saw in the Cowboys game, the biggest difference between Jalen Hurts and and um, Gardner Minshew. Um, first of all, being able to score in the red zone is a huge thing, and Jalen Hurts with his legs, that's a factor that teams have to account for. But what you see with with Jalen Hurts is more of a sustainable running game. Um, our, run, our running game is a lot more respected because you have to account for Jalen Hurts being a threat, um, and that that's what he does with his legs. So you have a lot more guys in the box, uh, which opens up things you know, in the secondary, in the, you know, the middle of the field, the um, deep field, uh, also things underneath. But he's a better decision maker. Um, if you saw, even on the slant to uh, that Lattimore picked off, um, you know, AJ Brown, AJ Brown ran a half, you know, a half effort route. I will say that. But um, that that's an easy read, depending on how he's playing, when to go to, and knowing how Lattimore plays. That's a that's a play that that's a uh, a pass that Hurts would have read consistently and would have, you know, um, you know. Thrown away or adjusted to that, so we're seeing. I, 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 I'm okay with our defense. I love the way our defense is playing. And when your offense is weak, it, you have to really look at how the defense is holding up. Because if a defense is on the field for so long, then they get tired. So all, a defense can only be on the field for so you know for so long. And if you look at the Eagles game, I'm not sure how many possessions or how many times we punted that game, but. Our defense was on the field for for quite a bit, quite a bit of time. Um, looking at it right now, we punted the ball six times. Um, uh, punted the ball six times. Um, they let me see. Look at time possession because time possession is a huge thing as well too. Um, just looking at uh, top now. Uh, what time possession? Yeah, I mean, New Orleans Saints had the ball 37 minutes to us having the ball 22 minutes. Um, with with Jalen Hurts, that's 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 not the case. Um, you know, we we have longer sustained drives. We had the ball longer. You know, we we force we put that a lot of defense to be on the field a lot longer as well too. Um, just to kind of give you a heads up. So our time of possession was 22 minutes. Uh, time we average about 30 minutes with the ball. So we were eight minutes down, and our opponents averaged about 29 minutes with the ball, which is kind of which is okay, um, because when you score quick and you score fast, like Philadelphia has been scoring the past couple of weeks, your defense is going to be feel more. Um, but um, yeah, top we're about minus eight, uh, eight minutes, uh, which was huge uh, for us. But Jalen Hurst is a big part of this offense. I expect him come back, him come coming back next week to seal a deal with New York. I'm not sure if New York's going to play their their stars or if if they have anything to play for. Uh, just looking at it right now, I think even if they lose, even if even if New York loses um, next week, uh, they still lock up that that six seed because they they can't they can't get the um, they can't get the five seed uh, because they they, don't, they have, Dallas is twelve and four and there's no way they can jump that. If they lose, they, only, they have only seven losses. They only have seven losses, and the closest team that's going to get in the playoffs, the seven seed, is going to have eight losses. So um, for New York for them, it, you know, they, they may not even play their stars next week, and and it'll be a game where we have to play uh, our stars to win to clinch up that 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 first round um, that first round bye. Um, just looking at uh, we have to because San Francisco is twelve and four, um, Philadelphia you know, we're thirteen and three. So if San Francisco wins next week and if Dallas wins next week, we can't rely on the division or conference um, to for us to win. 
49ers have Cardinals, which is going to be, you know, pretty much pretty much a walk in the park. Uh, and then the Commanders, you know, the Dallas has the Commanders, which, you know, I, I, I can see the Commanders definitely beating Dallas. I don't think Dallas is a is a le, a legit team. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm just looking at it now. Uh, you know, we're, Philadelphia's going to have to play their stars, you know, and I, I'm not sure if the Giants are going to play their stars next week. So um, it should be a game that we go there and win. You know, not not putting too much pressure on on Jalen Hurts. Um, so. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much it. I, I'm 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 humble, but I'm confident. In having Jalen Hurts is going to be we're going to be a different team. Um, I like the idea that we did we did rest him this week. Uh, I don't want to rush to bring him back. Um, you know, it's just us playing football. If we win this game, I like the fact that he comes in, plays this game, takes another week off, rest and heal a little bit more, and then you know we get back to the playoff game. So he's not out for too long. So I definitely like to get him back this week, and I, I think that it's going to be. He's he's gonna be back, so um, still confident in the boys. Uh, it's not gonna be an easy road ahead. We've got a lot of a lot of good matchups for us that are gonna be uh, true tests throughout the throughout the playoffs. So, um, but I, I would like I would feel more confident in us playing those games at the link. So we'll see what happens.